Thank you for joining us right here on Satna. Mayesh Naika has become a household name in the South African entertainment industry. She is most known for her side-splitting comedy roles, but did you know that she is also very rooted in her Hindu faith? Joining us now in studio is the bubbly, fun-filled, yet incredibly down-to-earth actress. Vanakam Mayeshni and welcome to Satna. Vanakam, thank you for having me. Mayeshni, you're a proud Chatswood export. Chatswood is a place where you can easily get swayed by negative influences, but you didn't. How did you not get sidetracked growing up? Well, firstly, I have to say that I'm a proud Chatswood girl, still am, and uh, really excited to be from Chatswood because uh, it's such a bubbly, vibrant community with fun people and you can always rely on the people that are around you to support you whenever you need them. Speaking of the people from Chatsworth, tell us about your childhood growing up, the influence of your family upon you. Okay, I, I had a very, um, I had a very family orientated growing up as a child and um, my dad um, was with me for a very short time. So like I think I was in grade two when my dad passed on. Wow. So yeah, it's been um, a very uh, sad um, childhood. I, sad can I say, but I just like missed my dad a lot because he was there for like the first eight years of my life and then he passed away. And um, obviously mom had to take the role of both parents and she was amazing and she, she brought up three children and educated us and we are uh, where we are today, it's because of her. So I think that, and well, he was the one that was pivotal in getting me to where I am in drama because he enrolled me in drama when I was seven and um, shortly after that he passed away. What a story, the yeah. fact that he played such an incredible role in your life, yes. even though you lost him so early on. Now looking back on your career, how proud do you think he would be of you? Um, well, I hope he's, he's smiling down and he's really happy for, for me and for everything that I've done because I think um, my commitment and my, and it's also my spiritual side because I think um, uh, praying to him every day and asking him for that guidance and acceptance and also supporting me in everything I do is, is one of the things where that has gotten to me to this stage of my career and my life. Mayeshni, you've had an incredible journey thus far and you've moved from one thing to another and it's just grown bigger and better. What inspires you to keep giving your best and to keep growing? Um, I think that it's, uh, it's everything that you dream of and more that you want to aspire to be better all the time. And um, I think even with um, the youth, um, it's to mold them into better individuals and um, I've taken this into consideration when I opened my own drama school um, and I felt the need to mold those kids into confident individuals because so many kids are so super talented but um, they, we do not draw from this and use it to, for their advantage. Um, and a lot of parents are now coming on board and saying, um, my kids need to speak properly. They have academic success, but they're not confident on a level to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with a, a person or a family member or go to a party and they can't introduce themselves. So I think um, that's where I've taken on the youth and I think it is so important to get them to be articulate. Most of all, to be confident because a confident child is one that's going to succeed and go out there and step out into the world and own that interview when they're going for a job. So all those things are so important to me. And my little babies that I teach every week are such a delight to see because they always run up to you and they give you the biggest hug and the biggest smile. And uh, they're also so keen to learn. And uh, you watch them walk into your class and they're crying and they're holding on to their parents. and. At, at the end of the year, they're owning that stage or that character that they've got in their play and they're graduating with, with distinction. So that's, to me, is everything. That's really heartwarming. And as someone who is speaking from a drama background myself, I know that especially in the Indian community, 
parents look down on someone pursuing drama, yes. but you've made it work for you in such an incredible way. Do you find now that stereotype, that perception is changing because of the things that you've been able to do, especially, for example, coming out of Chatsworth? Yes, it is majorly. Um, you know, when I was scared when I was choosing my course because I said, how do I approach my mom and say I'm going to study drama? Because uh, many parents would straight away say, no, it's you're going to be a teacher, you're going to be a doctor, you're going to be something. Um, but my mom, thankfully, was amazing. She said, if, is, if that's what you want to do, go ahead and do it. And she's been supportive ever since. She's um, nervous when I'm nervous for an audition. And she prays with me when I'm scared and I'm saying, I don't know whether I'm going to do well at this. So she's been my support system. But I think it is so important um, to mold that child and to get them to move away from that. And, and uh, drama is something that is taking the world by storm. And so many kids are now pursuing it at tertiary level. And they're going out there and they're branching out into the various aspects of drama, be it radio, be it theater, be it film. And there's so many avenues to open up to. How, how close is Mayeshni, the person, to Mayeshni, the character, for example, in Kandasamis? Shanti was absolutely bubbly and fun. And um, she was always wanting to have that close family uh, bond. And you saw that with her cooking skills and stuff. That's a, a lot uh, uh, like me, because I love my family around. I love cooking for them and having them there, especially my three nephews, who I love dearly. Um, a lot of people ask me, by the way, if the little my little son in Kandasam is actually my own because we actually look so much the same. And I say, yes, we have the cheeks and the stomach, but, <laughs> but he actually belongs to someone else. So, yeah, so those things are the fun things. Um, sh well, what I don't like is Shanti's decor style because there's not a place on a fridge that she doesn't have glitter or a fridge magnet. And I try to be minimal when it comes to that. I like my clean things and I loved playing Shanti. I absolutely loved it. Every day was a, a new fun aspect on set. And yeah, I loved it. Well, we absolutely loved watching you play Shanti. We certainly wish you all the very best for the future. And we hope that all your dreams, your wishes and your prayers, we hope that they're all fulfilled and answered as well. Thank you, Vanessa. Don't leave your seat. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome back. Like laughter is the best antidote to stress, the Cobra Pose 2 has the benefit of reducing stress. In our stressful world, Coogan demonstrates Bhujang Asana today in Yoga for Wellness and Lokesh Ji comforts us with the calming jewels of the Ramayan.